Welcome back awesome Ashen Toy fans and subscribers. Today I'm reviewing something different, a Gardens of the Galaxy Rocket Raccoon Warbird. Now this is going to be different scale to the normal scale. Normally I review 118, sometimes smaller scale, which this will probably fit in with. Um, but I do like this, I do like Gardens of the Galaxy. Looks nice. If you look on the back it shows a couple of other ships you can get. The Milano and the... Nova Corps Star Blaster. I'd like to find both of those if I can in the future. I got this really cheap. It says 29. That's 29 ringgit. That's going to be about five pounds something. Yeah, really cheap. So if I could find the others, I'll be chuffed. But I'm sure they're going to cost a lot more than this. So let's get this open and have a look. Okay. Okay, that's easy enough. I think there's going to be some assembly required. It includes a rocket raccoon. Oh, bit stiff. Okay, here it is. Now let me kneel for this. That is actually really nice looking, I have to say. I do like that already. Hasbro done a nice job on this. Just look at it. the colours as well, because they've done it in dark, sort of grey and blue. That does look good. Very nice. Okay, so let's put that down there. We've got here some more wing sections, because it's a quad ring, I think. We have some instructions, some stickers. Uh, I've no idea what these are, a rocket raccoon, a missile launcher and something else, nothing else there, okay let's have a look, okay let's do the wings first, I've got to say again this is really nice looking, oh the wings do move as well, that's a nice touch, so they go like this, is that right? The only thing I've issue got so far, if you look underneath, it's just hollow. They haven't, you know, bothered with that. They're cutting down on cost, which is a shame because it is a nice looking, nice looking um, model toy. Sorry, this snaps into where now. I'm trying to work out where these parts fit into. That let me have a look at the picture. Okay, these go on the front and they go that way. Okay, so this would slot into here. Okay, that's easy enough. Okay, so it looks nice so far. So I am liking this a lot. A nice looking ship. They do move there. Apparently has some stuff on the stuff here. I will have a quick look. I don't think I'll worry about the stickers for the time being. I really hate stickers. I'd much rather if things were, you know, painted on properly. Okay. So here, what are these? Some sort of fuel tanks? Okay, these snap onto the wings, the top set of wings underneath somewhere. I should have put these on first though. Okay, like there. Okay, that's easy. And there. And then there's... What is that? I'm getting, getting more and more confused now. There appears to be another part, perhaps, which I'm missing, maybe. Can't see it in the picture here. Okay, can't sit there, can't sit there. Maybe I'm imagining it. Okay, so there is on the instructions. What looks to be a flight stand for it, maybe. You can see that thing there. And the only thing I've got left is... 
this stuff which doesn't really work for that so also got the rocket raccoon have a quick look at him he's none posable but he looks pretty cool he comes with some huge rocket launch for himself i'm sure maybe this is the thing that goes in the bottom instead a rocket launch it can't be can it no um these things here i'm not entirely sure what they are uh, but i'll have a look anyway let me sit down again now let's cut this off Okay, there's one, whatever this is, no idea. I won't worry about his rocket now. According to this... No. Okay, according to this... Okay, his rocket launcher goes on one of the wings and then these blue bits, actually red in the picture, they go on the wings too. So his rocket launcher is supposed to attach to uh, the right wing here. And then this attaches to the right wing above. And then this attaches to the wing here. Uh, I don't think they add anything to this. I won't be using them. That's just like a kid's thing. Okay, now I see what I've missed. Okay, so it's not actually missing any parts. There's actually a part that was pre-attached. This part here came pre-attached, whereas in the instructions it's not attached. Okay, that's all clear now. Okay, that is a nice looking ship they put rocket raccoon in front that does look really good it looks the best though if you see from on top really nice paint job and then like nothing underneath so can he fit inside the cockpit does open which is nice he can fit inside though he can't sit down he's got no articulation it's good i'm going to compare this to some b 2.5 figures this acid rain b 2.5 figures and see how this how this looks there's not a lot of motion there if I grab a figure here it scales pretty well I reckon he can fit inside possibly though he's obviously bigger than rocket who's like half his size but let's have a look looks like he should but I'm not think his head might get in the way There we go. That is an awesome fit, awesome scale for your acid rain B25 figures, or even you've got um, Mega Blocks figures, Halo, or Call of Duty, whatever. That is really good. This is a really nice little ship. Has done a really good job on this, to be fair. It would have been nice if they'd done the bottom, they'd fill it, filled out the hollows, and actually painted the bottom too. But it's nice, and they've had a little flight stand on it as well. That would be good, but I do like this a lot. I'm glad I picked it up, particularly because it was so cheap as well. Great job, Hezbro, for once. So, yeah, this is a great toy. Uh, Rocket Raccoons Warbird. This is an awesome actual toy saying if you do find one, pick one up because they are great. If I can find another, I might get another two and maybe add some paint and sort out that bottom. And I'll look for the other ships too. Uh, stay happy, keep collecting, please like and subscribe. And if you haven't, you. Um, Watch my other videos too. Uh, feel free to share. I'll be back in the future with more awesome action toy reviews. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.